Don't ever underestimate someone who has lost everything. Because when they get back up, they will be unstoppable. You're in my domain. Hello, all my fellow YouTubers out there. This is Russ, the creator of RTV Inc. And I am going off on a little tangent today about Utah and their outrageous rent prices, among other things that hopefully will correlate with the high rent prices. To start off with, I work for a cabinet shop and mill where I'm a delivery driver as well as I put together some cabs as well, you know. And I deliver cabinets and other kind of related accessories to a place called Pinnacle Apartments. I delivered there on Friday, and you know, I just curious how much they would charge for rent. So I asked the maintenance man, which is in close proximity of the property management company, how much they charge to pay rent for a two bedroom apartment. They told me $2,000. And then he told me, if you want three bedrooms, it's three grand. So basically, you're paying $1,000 rent for, per bedroom. So, do you really want to come here and live in Utah and pay more than probably half your paycheck to live in a two-bedroom apartment? Or at least all your paycheck to live in a three-bedroom apartment? And, and I, I relate all this price hike, not to inflation, although inflation does help, but it also is associated to the property management companies and the majority of religion of this, in this state. The majority religion in this state is LDS. I'm sure a lot of people have heard of them, they're the Mormons. But here in Utah, the Mormons run this state. And two cases of that is, is our governor's Mormon, he runs this state, he's also a Republican. Then we've got our senator, Mitt Romney, which is also both Republican and Mormon. And so, you know, Mormons and Republicans don't do it. Or I guess about the same thing. All they care about is money in themselves. And it's the fact that Mitt Romney is in the NRA's pocket. But this is the thing. But you know you're right. You live in an apartment, you're paying three grand a month rent. How much of that is actually going to the property management company and how much of that is actually going to the owner? In most property management companies' cases, forty percent of that rent goes to them. Another six percent go to the property owner or to a special account to help maintain the property. If there's another property management company is not concerned, yeah, well, our forty percent is not going to go to help put new cabinets and new stuff inside these apartments. So that extra six percent goes to a special bank account so they can actually afford to do exactly that, upgrade the apartments so they charge more rent. That's how it usually works. Because they said I deliver, I mean, on Friday I delivered, it was a uh, doors and other false fronts for cabinets, and that's how I found out what the prices were. And I also found out one very other interesting thing. This is what the property maintenance guy actually, I couldn't know to go for the trash there. I don't know what his name is, but that's besides the point. He goes to the trash and he says that he finds cell phones, computers. They found a 65 inch flat screen TV that worked perfectly in the trash can. But that isn't pretty bad. So these people can afford to throw three grand away and expensive computers and expensive TVs and expensive cell phones. Because he says most of the cell phones he finds in the trash are iPhones. And everyone knows an iPhone is not cheap. If anything, it's just expensive trash. And I take this from me because I've actually done i products before and iPhone, the only thing original about an iPhone is an operating system. Otherwise, it's just a hit expensive paper. That's besides the point. If you come to Utah, come to Utah to visit. This way you're paying less money to stay in a motel or a hotel. And you can still have more money to spend to go see the beautiful canyons we have. The canyons are really quite beautiful in the summertime. As long as you don't mind extremely high heat. Or you can go to the Great Salt Lake. You don't mind the stench of the Great Salt Lake. And the low water levels. Or you can go to some of our other beautiful lakes here in Utah as well. Like Deer Creek Lake, I mean, oh God, I passed by there on Friday after I did, did the pinnacle delivery, what I told you about earlier, and oh my God, it is so beautiful there. I mean, there's a lot of beauty in Utah if you don't mind visiting Utah. But if you're going to live here in Utah, 
expect to pay a lot of money, especially you renting. Your best bet, if you can't live in Utah, buy a house. Your house payment will be less than your rent bill each month. I guarantee it. These property management companies are ripping you off blind, and you just don't know it yet. I mean, I, I live in a part of the place the place the uh, property management company is called Lettingham Properties. So, I complained a few times because my dad's neighbor was, was always being loud and noisy at night when I was trying to sleep and go to work the next day. They would do nothing about it. So at the end of my lease, when I decided to increase my rent by 300 bucks, I was like, you know what, screw you guys, I'm gone. So I left them. And in the process of leaving them, I changed all the light bulbs out. Because that's what required. I made sure it was original that was in there. And then they tried to charge me 90 bucks a light bulb. Because they said they were burnt out. And I'm like, that's not possible. Because I replaced every single one of them. They also tried to charge me 150 bucks for reversing the locks on the bathroom door, which was never done because why would I reverse the locks if it's stupid? They could lock me in the bathroom and I'd be screwed, you know what I mean? But certain rental properties, especially net, uh, property management companies, be aware of them because they will find every single way they can to rip you off. And unless you're prepared to catch up, Documented proof that you did not, that you did everything you said, change light bulbs, did reverse locks, you know, so on down the line. And you can prove this stuff, you can be stuck for like a thousand bucks guaranteed easy because they're gonna rip you off the line. But come to Utah to visit, enjoy the beauty, but don't come to Utah to live unless you have a lot of money to afford rent or you know buy a house to have a less of a uh, payment, monthly payment than a rent payment. But that's just my rant and rave on Utah. You guys are more than welcome to comment all you want. In fact, I encourage you to. And if you like my content, please hit that like and subscribe button and let me know. Let me so tell me what else you'd like to hear about Utah or other topics. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful Sunday evening.